So the diesel heat stopped working. I thought it's not getting fuel because it's it's happened before. So the pump starts, it starts blowing, but it never gets any um, more powerful than that. So it's like it's not igniting. So I fucked about with this, my controller, but it said like you press to prime it, you press the bottom two buttons and an H and an off will come on. Well that won't happen now, I was just getting the time. Um, so I unplugged that, so there's no electric going to it. Plugged it back in, so I think I reset that. And then I got the H and the off. And then it said press up to prime it. So it started priming. So it primed this time. I could see that there was fuel there in that. So we'll just see now. So I've turned it on, obviously, as you can hear. Um, I'm going to see if it actually starts working or not. If not, I'll prime it again. It might not be fuel, but I couldn't see any fuel in the line before. Come on now! Come on! Some bits of sponge to put over me. Pump. <laughs> to try and keep it a bit quieter. So, oh, that fan sounds like it's... See something happening on here. So, in, in here, you can see alright, we should get little lines, little boxes. When it starts to heat up, are we going to get any? Is it going to work? I hope so. It's funny, isn't it? I've not been that bothered about having the heater on because it's not really that cold. But now it's not working, I want it on. Because <laughs> I'm awkward like that. Come on! You can do it! It's definitely fueling that line now, I can see it. I'm sure normally that would have ignited and no, see that's what it did before. Bugger. Okay, so I'm gonna prime it again. So two bottom buttons, top button and see button. See that says off? It says on now. Pump. Pumping. The thing is it has got this is linked to my main tank, my van tank. Um, so it's got a bit of distance to come. So we get diesel in here. It's got to come out this side. And then that goes here, I think. Why is it down there? I don't understand. Anyway, it comes to this <laughs> somewhere underneath. Um, so it has got a bit of distance to travel. So I'm hoping that's all it is. I might have to just... Uh, Take this all apart and have a fiddle around. But to be fair, if I couldn't get it working, I've had it three years now. Um, so it's done alright for 85 quid. I'd rather not have to buy a new one. But um, if I do, then well, it's, uh, I've had my money's worth, I suppose. But you can get all sorts of parts for these anyway. So it doesn't necessarily mean a new diesel here. Yes, anyway. Okay. Right, try again. Try again! Turn around, look at me instead. <laughs> no, I'd rather look at you, thanks. Come on now, baby. You know you want to. I can't see it. I see it going in there. It's come out of there, doesn't it? I mean, in Little Gem, when I put the diesel hit rim, excuse me, I think it was took three times to prime it. And the tank was quite a bit closer, actually, I think, really. See, normally that would be blowing a bit more fiercely. It was sounding like a jet engine, as my daughter said, when she, when it woke us up. <laughs> she must have kicked the control when she was lying here, accidentally turned the heater on. <laughs> woke us up at like 6 in the morning which was good because she wanted to see the sunrise <laughs> so 
that meant that we could, we didn't sleep through it. Um, yes. But she said it's like, I thought the Concord was flying over. <laughs> Concord's not here yet. Come on, Concord, we need ya. I still can't see feeling that other side of that, coming out that pump. Nothing, I can't see anything there. Oh, you fucking fucker. Nope, she's not having it. Not then. I'm going to try again though. I'm going to keep trying. So, third time lucky, as they say. So this is why it's really important to have, essential even, to have two forms of heating. If you can. I mean, I'm lucky because I've got my log burner, which I had on yesterday. But of course, it's not as convenient as a log burner, is it? <laughs> you know, you've got to have the wood, you know, you've got to start the fire, you've got to mess about. <laughs> but it's a lifesaver. If you do as I it stops working. My friend Maria has also got a channel. Freebird, UK Van Life. Oh, I'm sorry, Marie, if I get this wrong. Freebird, Van Life UK. Um, she was without a diesel heater for a few weeks, actually, through the winter. And it was a miserable experience for her and her two dogs. She's actually bought a Contiki now. She's got rid of Moby, which was Liam the Terrible's old van which just gave her a lot of issues, one thing after another, actually. So she's got a Contiki, and if anybody's got a Contiki and knows about Contikis, she needs the help. Water tank, she the watch, water tank's leaking on this uh, motorhome. She shouldn't wear the tappers to turn, turn the water off. Oh, well, she thinks it's under the bed. The gas isn't working on the fridge and the cooker. So she needs some technical help if anybody's available to give us some advice or even to go see her I think she's probably in Wakefield around that area I think but anyway back to my well I'll just let it prime let me see if there's um, any fuel coming through the other side um, mm. so I'm getting fuel because I can see it in that pipe there so I mean if it won't come in into this at all then I would think okay well it's there's something to do with the pipe going into the tank or something it's not right i mean that still might be the issue potentially if there's just been a little bit of fuel in in the fuel line and uh that's what i can see in here i'm actually in a better frame of mind today i was the past couple of days i've just been feeling like shite no motivation to do anything got no handbrake at the minute um no handbrake that went when i was in the peak district with my daughter so that was a lot of fun driving up and down hills and needing your handbrakes, you do. It's quite crucial a lot of the time. Well, not all the time, because I'm on flat here, I'm just in parked in gear. I've no handbrake, as I've just said. I also had an issue with my gears. So when you put it into reverse, you click it up and push it to the side. Well, the clicky thing on the gear stick had sort of got stuck. So it like essentially seemed to have disappeared. So I had no... There's no, nothing to stop, no barrier from first to reverse. So I was in traffic, thinking that was going to go forward, and I went backwards. Not good in traffic, especially when people park up your ass. And so I did that twice in one, one set of traffic lights. <laughs> oh my God, that was a stressful journey there, I tell you. For some reason, I, I chose the, the most difficult route possible. Um, I expected to go a different way. Um, I end up going through like 50 million sets of traffic lights when your handbrake's not working properly and your gears are like all over the shop. It's not a lot of fun. Anyway, the clicky bit is, I've just pushed it down. Realised, some, well, somebody said, look, just push it down. So that's okay. Although I'm getting, I'm having to struggle with reverse gear. Reverse and first are absolutely doing me head in. Sometimes I just can't get into reverse. I've to ask the garage about it and they've said um, we could send it, we could take the gearbox out and send it off. It's like, well, what am I supposed to do? I'll just float about, shall I? Go sleep on the beach. Uh, plus, that sounds really expensive. 
So I don't know what to do. But I've been feeling a bit disillusioned with van life past couple of days thinking what's so good about it? Really? What's so good about it? When the diesel heat stops working. <laughs> anyway, just plod on don't you? Plod on and deal with shit as best you can. Right. I'm gonna take this off. I was trying to fix this here to something, but it's being an absolute bell end, so I'm not bothering. So I'm gonna take it off and see if any anything comes out of here. So I've taken the pipe off. To be honest, that feels dry as a bone, does that? That little mini penis. Oh no, there's nothing coming out of that. It's going in the other side though. It's impotent. It's, nothing's happening. A few should be coming out of there. Going down my pipe. Or up my pipe. We've got a puddle. Oh, it's coming out of there. I'm going to turn it off then. Look at this. Oh, there is, there is fuel coming out. It's just like punks then. Well, I have got a new glow plug, so I can put that in and see what happens. So, I've got my glow, glow plug. Just that bit, protected by this rubbery sheath. It's very delicate, they're made of ceramic, so they're, they're delicate. And that's a little thing that goes over the top, or goes in the hole, I think, from what I've seen on the video. But they can get clogged up. So, I'm going to try and... Oh, this is the tool. Um to get out the glow plug. Well, you've got to put something through the end of it, haven't you, to turn it. So that goes, if that fits into there, get that out of the way. Um, oh, actually, I'm going to have to undo this. I have to unclip the... Uh, oh, that's an Allen key, is it? Uh, unclip that from the circuit board thing. Okay, so I've undone the uh, Allen nut, Allen screw. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's what they call, but it's an Allen key that takes them out. So it's just this here, so I need to take that out and then take this out of here carefully. So that was easy enough to get out. I just used this long screw in the holes to twist it to get some leverage. So that's the glow plug. I have no idea what it's supposed to look like, <laughs> so I don't know if that's all right or not. I know I saw somebody take theirs out and it had a big crack in it. So no, sorry, I'm, I'm looking at it and then I'm not focusing the camera on it. I can't see any cracks. I'm going to try and get the um, thingy out now, that thing. So I'm going to just put a little screw in there to pull that out, so I'll, I'll have to try that. You can see... Where it is there, it's right in that hole. So I've got to find a way to get that out. Well, a bit of a twat to get out. So the video that I watched, the guy watched like a screw, he screwed it in and and screwed it out. It's not obviously like looking brand new, but I don't know. Obviously it's fucked now. <laughs> but um, I don't know if that's sufficiently clogged to cause a problem. Anyway, I need to put the other one in. And then... Put the new glow plug, see what happens. Oh, I'll just show you both together. That's obviously the new mesh. And that's the old mesh. This feels quite a bit sicker, actually. Right, I'll put it all back together. Moment of truth. Given the state of the glow plug and the bit of mesh, it didn't look that bad. I mean, I don't know what they're supposed to like, look like, to be fair, but they didn't look that bad, so... So I'm um, I'm not convinced this is going to work. But I don't know what else there is to look at. If it's getting fuel, if the glow plug's all right. It's like it's not igniting. Everything seems to work, but there's just no ignition. So, which indicates either glow plug's fucked or there ain't enough fuel getting to it, in my uh, expert opinion. Anyway, we'll see.
<laughs> oh my god. Um, okay, well that didn't work, did it? Why has it done that? It's completely fucked now. Put the lid on and everything. It might not like the fact it's lid one on, which could be a safety feature, to be fair. Oh, at least it's kept going this time. My pump hasn't kicked in yet. Come on, pump! I'm not convinced with the sound though, because normally by now it's sounding like a jet engine. And it's not. So I don't think this has worked. So I've got a leak. Um, I'm going to take this off and um, clean it out. Okay, so I've changed the filter. The filter cracked. Um, so if it's pulling in air, maybe that's a problem. Because there was there was plenty of fuel in there. But if there's air in this pipe, it's like this look, I don't see you can see fuel in that pipe, but um, there's gaps in between it so there's air in there. So maybe that was a problem, I don't know. I can't see anything. I can't see any fuel going into the Filler. I don't know what it tastes like. Oh, no. Fuel. Fuel. Oh, no fuel's going into it now. There's no fuel in there, is there? I'll go in, I'll prime it a couple of times, see if that helps. Right. I actually did see fuel coming up this pipe. Oh, look. Ooh, 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 ooh. Right. Okay. Well, that's, that's good. That's good. Oh, that's good. So that means there's no blockage at that end. Right, okay. So, primed on. Moment of truth. If this doesn't work, it's going on tip. Makes sense though that if, well, sort of makes sense to me, if the air filter's cracked and it's pulling in um, air, then uh, that could get in the way of things. If it's if it's not this, then I don't know. Don't know where it is. I'm just grateful that it's not middle of winter and it's freezing out. No, it's not. It's not. It's not going to work. Oh, it's not going to work, is it? It's just not blowing out. I'll prime it again. Oh my God! Is it? <gasps> it's working. I'm getting hot air. Saga ends. I've got some heat. Hey! So, just so you can see. Oh, it now. oh that'd be awkward. You can see. It's cracked. It's quite a serious crack, is that? So, much to be aware of if you have a similar problem. So, I mean, it seems like that was the issue, unless me taking that off and. I don't know, messing about with the pipes has released an airlock, I don't know. But obviously that is not good. We don't want um, cracked filters. So yes, 